What you want to understand here, and I think this is something that most Americans don't understand. Please explain. Israel is in really deep trouble. Right? It's in really deep trouble today. And more importantly, it has no way out. Uh, they were unable to defeat Hamas in Gaza, number one. Number two, they're stuck in Gaza, right? They're not getting out. And you remember, they left in 2005 because it was a hornet's nest. They're back in there. Right. Number three, they have no meaningful military solution against Hezbollah. They cannot defeat Hezbollah. And with regard to Iran, even if they get into a war with Iran and they launch lots of missiles and rockets and uh, aerial attacks at Iran and do a lot of destruction, Iran will still be there. And Iran, by the way, is on the road to acquiring nuclear weapons. So they have all of those external problems. Then they have these wicked internal problems, which we saw uh, on display earlier this week. What's on display these days is manifest evidence that Israel is heavily dependent on the United States. They cannot fight these wars. They cannot continue like this without American support. We have given them $18 billion in 2024. Just think about that, $18 billion. And we help them in their military fight with Iran on April 14th. Uh, we are giving them all sorts of weaponry. They need us. They need us to provide diplomatic support. So this is not quite the independent country that Israel likes to think of itself as. It is heavily dependent on the United States. So when you take all of these factors into account, you then ask yourself the question, how can they get out of this? Attack Hezbollah in Lebanon? Are we serious? They did this in 1982. They did it in 2006. It was a disaster. Their army is worn out from what's happened in Gaza where they haven't beaten Hamas. They would be insane to involve, invade Lebanon, even if we were to help them. So how do they fix that problem? How do they fix the problem in Gaza? All of these problems are unfixable. Boy. They are in trouble and they are digging deep.